Hi, welcome to my real estate questions and answers video series. I will be creating videos on commonly asked questions in real estate. If you've not yet subscribed to my channel, please go and do so right away and hit the little bell for notifications. I don't want you to miss any of the upcoming videos. If you've not yet met me before, my name is Karen Jackson. I'm a residential real estate agent with John L. Scott in Renton, Washington and the surrounding areas. Thank you so much for watching and let's get right to it. Today's question is, do I need a real estate agent? The short answer is yes, you do. Whether you are a buyer or a seller, you need a real estate agent. There are some thoughts that if you purchase a home that is listed on the market and you have the listing agent write the offer for you, then you will save some money. That is usually not the case. The total sales commission is already contracted and built into the listing agreement with the seller and the listing agent. There is a certain amount allotted for the listing agent and for the buyer's agent. If you do not use your own agent to represent you, then the seller's agent will get the full commission. You actually might lose money because when a listing agent writes up a contract for a buyer, they are actually representing the seller. They are saying and doing things in the best interest of their seller, so they most likely will not be negotiating on your behalf very strongly. If you are a seller, yes, you need a real estate agent too. But Karen, I can save money if I sell my house myself. It is not impossible to sell your home without an agent, and some people are very successful at doing so. But you need certain skills and the time to be able to do it effectively. Do you know the correct market price? Do you have time to show your buyers your home? Maybe two or three a day? You need skills to market your home to get buyers and to get the highest price possible. You need to know the legalities of the contract and what contracts to use. And you need negotiation skills before the contract, during the contract, during the inspection and appraisal. And you have to deal with any issues that arise from the buyer's loan approval. They do not always close. Also, many buyers who purchase a for sale by owner expect a discount. Many times, those who successfully sell their home by owner end up netting less money than they would if they had used an agent to represent them. I will tell you one scenario. A past client of mine found a house for sale by owner. The seller wanted a certain price, which was above market price, but they were adamant about that price. The buyer put in a full price offer, paid for inspection, packed their home, and then when it came to appraisal time, the appraisal came in low. The seller was still adamant about the price and the transaction ended. The buyer didn't get his house and the seller didn't sell. The seller eventually listed the home at market value with a real estate agent and it sold and closed. If they had both had some guidance from a professional, they both maybe would have succeeded in closing the first round with less time spent and less money spent, less stress and disappointment. That's all I have for you today. Please comment below if there's a question you would like answered. I will see you next time.